Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Chatalon Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 20 YouTube videos covering different concepts of automation by using Chatalon Studio. So this is our lesson 21 where I am going to teach you how can you call an existing test case or how can you call an existing automated test case while automating another test case or how can you write a scripts so that you can reuse those scripts whenever you need while automating your scenarios please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos thank you okay so this is my Catalan studio okay so where we are going to start automating one login functionality and then we are also auto we are going to automate another scenario registration functionality okay so now how can we reuse the login function or login script in multiple test cases okay while automating multiple scenarios okay that's what we are going to see so if you remember you know in my previous sessions right we are using this website example.testproject.io okay where here you will be performing login okay let's say i'm gonna log in as james bond and my password is one two three four five and click on login right this is your login function and then another test case is i need to automate this registration functionality right once you log in login is one test case and registration is my another test case okay so let's first automate our login functionality okay for that under test cases i'm going to create one new folder new folder called lesson 21 and click ok and under lesson 21 folder i'm going to create a new test case called login and then hit ok okay so now this is my test case what i'm going to do i'm going to record my test case so let me automate that login function by using record functionality okay to save some time so record web click on on top you see you have a lot of icons okay record web so i've already explained to you how to record and then how can you write the script and all these things in my previous sessions i would recommend you guys to go through those sessions okay so hit record web as soon as you hit record web so it will give you an option to record on multiple browsers any kind of process so i'm going to select uh, chrome as my default okay and then hit record so as soon as you hit record it opens your url so now let me just enter james bond and let me provide my password as one two three four five hit login done so now i want to stop the recording so that i can save the script so if you see here it recorded each and every step that we performed okay and now hit save script it will ask you to save your locators so i want to create a new folder to save the locators login underscore test hit ok and then click on ok so this will save your test case now if you see under login test case and then it also saved your object locators under login test case now i can see open browser navigate to let's go and see in the script mode also okay if you see you are opening the browser and navigating to the url and setting your full name as james bond and then you are setting your encrypted text password right and then you are clicking on login button and then closing the browser right let's go back to manual mode now i want to delete this close browser i don't want to close the browser once i hit login okay right click and delete okay so this is my i have automated the functionality called login and this login functionality is a reusable test case because to perform any kind of validation in the application first user must log in right so this is my reusable test case so now let me create another test case in under lesson 21 right click 
and then create new test case name this as registration okay registration and click on ok now let me record my registration process process in different way now okay so let's go to my website okay let's go to website and then just login perform login some sample login okay and this is my registration page right i want to record registration functionality okay let's go back to your catalog and here now select record web this time i'm not going to select new browser instead of selecting my new browsers list i'm going to pick active browsers okay so let's select so you have a new browsers here these are my active browsers so let me select chrome as an active browser and click on continue recording so now what it will do you can basically go to your active browser and start performing actions so that it records your script select your country as austria and then provide your street address and provide your email so i'm going to provide my email and then i'm going to provide mobile number okay and then hit save and click on log out done so now you can stop the recording and now in the same way you can see all the actions that you can see now let me save the script while saving the script, it will ask you to save your locators also. So I want to create a new folder, registration underscore test. Click OK and then click OK. So now my registration test case is saved. So you can see this is my registration test case and this is my login test case. Correct? Login registration. Okay. So here under registration, I want to delete open browser and also i want to delete navigate to url right because registration starts from selecting your let me just go back here selecting the country first address email phone so i am selecting my select option by value 80 and then setting the text in the address setting the text in email phone number clicking on save and then clicking on logout and closing browser correct so now i cannot run this particular registration test case alone because opening the browser performing login is necessary to validate your registration correct so that's why i want to call my previous login script to this registration test case how can we do that so place your cursor in your first row and then hit add and here you can see call test case you click on call test case and here you select expand your lesson 21 folder that we created and select login test case and click ok and here my call test case is call test case login i i want to arrange this as a first step just drag and drop into here so first i'm going to call login test case and then i'm going to select country i'm going to enter address and all right so i just call my login test case if you see go to your script mode it clearly says call test case from where find test case from lesson 21 and the test case name is login and then perform all other registration operations right let's go back to manual board and save your test case registration test case now let's run your registration test case to see when i run the registration test case it should first perform login and then it should perform registration okay let's run this hit run to make sure your registration test case works perfectly by calling your login function okay 
so it is opening as soon as you hit run it's going to start opening the browser and it should perform login function first let's see see now see it entered james bond it entered your zip and now it should perform your registration it selected austria it's going to enter your address email and phone number see address email phone number and then saved and log out and close the browser that means if you see here let me see my test results if you see the test results observe closely here you are calling your test case first if you expand this it shows all the steps from your login test case see it is showing all your login test cases open browser navigate urls login password and then hit login and then it is performing all your registrations right so this is your call test case so if you if you observe here see once you log in you are selecting the country from the drop down right i'm selecting austria but if you see here in the script it is showing something called at what is this at it is actually if i go back to my uh, let's say right click and inspect this right right click and inspect inspect here you can see the drop down values at the back end are actually two digit codes see al dz as a1 right In because i don't know back end values for austria what is my uh, two digit code we don't know right i want to select this drop down value with my label name whatever it is showing in the drop down right let me change that first okay let me change here instead of selecting my drop down value by value i want to select this drop down by label so let's select this now it is easy for me to select any drop down let's say i want to select india india is spelling as spelled as i n d i a done and now and also after performing login i want to maximize the window right now we are not maximizing the window so let's maximize the window how place your cursor because after call test login i want to maximize the window place your cursor in the first row add web ui keyword and here i want to do maximize window right let's call maximize window here okay here let's maximize see maximize window select this now that's it save it now when i run this test case now it should perform login and then it should immediately maximize the window and then it should select india as a country for the registration and then perform rest of the operations okay let's run this hit run so now if you see it's going to perform login without maximizing the window first yeah now it is opening the browser first and then it should perform your login <laughs> done james bond see it is performing login without maximizing now it maximized right now it should select india instead of austria by using see it selected india by using the drop down name itself right and then it's going to enter your address your email and all this done successful so all our steps are passed and hope you all understand see now i can call this login function in n number of test cases while automating at different scenarios so you can call this test case n number of times in any test case that you would like to automate right so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand the concept of reusability of your test cases how can you call your reusable test scripts while automating your test cases please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you